Hello students, NCL, that is the Northern Coal Fields Limited, a mini Ratna PSU, uh, which is also a subsidiary of the CIL Coal India Limited, has announced the recruitment for 2024 through a separate in written examination. Yes, it is going to be without the GATE scorecard. Okay, the notification was floated on 9th of January, it's around three days back. And, uh, you know, the, rec the recruitment is for the uh, you know, de uh, deployment of mines, establishment of NCL in the Singronial District of M. Madhya Pradesh and Sonbhadra District of the Uttar Pradesh. Okay, the vacancies that, uh, that are... Uh, uh, coming up is grade C vacancies, assistant foreman for ENT, for mechanical and for electrical. Okay, di diploma or relevant and higher education, higher qualification like B, B Tech also eligible. Okay, so what is... Uh uh, the exact branches eligible will look into the eligibility criteria the closing date will be 5th of february okay uh, so you have sufficient time to fill up so let, let's know the details and in case if this uh, particular vacancy attracts you you can fill it up okay so first of all looking into the number of vacancies guys it's 100 and total 115 vac 151 50 vacancies out of which nine for ent okay it's few of them for emt ent 59 are for mechanical and for electrical there are two cadres okay they will be recruiting into excavation and electrical and mechanical with the vacancies uh, respectively 48 and 34 okay now this is what now suppose you are uh, applying for ENT okay so the diploma required of course in electronic uh, diploma in electronics engineering or okay the higher qualification that is required is engineering degree B, B Tech, any of them in electronics electronics and communication electronics and telecommunication okay that is ENC uh, EC and ENT okay but you know these branches are strictly not eligible they have clearly mentioned related branches like instrumentation yeah, electrical yeah, control that is not available Okay, whether it is BE, BTEC or Diploma. Okay, similarly, if you are applying uh, from Mechanical, okay, Engineering degree in Mechanical or a Diploma in Mechanical, okay, but any of the related branches like Production, Automation, Automobile, not available, uh, not uh, applicable, okay. And similarly, for Electrical, you need to have an Electrical or Triple Electrical and Electronics Engineering, okay, but not, again, these branches which are mentioned here, okay. Now, what is your training period and what is the pay scale if you have a look into it? Okay, so... Uh, the training period uh, for ENT it's going to be for one year okay for mechanical again if you are for there's an excavation cadre two year for electrical as I mentioned there are two cadres one is excavation so for that two year okay for electron electrical and mechanical again two year okay so ENT one year rest all are having two years okay now entry level grade pay scale okay so if you look into it it's 47 47,330 per month basic pay scale okay uh, of course, it's grade C, though relatively not as high as what grade A posts are, but still it's a PSU safer job and other than that, you know, uh, 40, 40, uh, let's say around 50,000 per month is your basic pay, but other than basic pay, all benefits that, you know, you get in the PSUs like uh, the DA, the attendance bonus, special allowances, HRA, transport, subsidy, medical facility, I mean, they will take care of you and your every everything, okay, your uh, house, uh, you know, your HRA, your medical facilities, okay, provided all them, 50,000 is decent and one thing I would like to specify here is, I know, uh, you know, always keep higher and higher targets, but eventually you also don't know keep how exactly you're going to perform in GATE or ESE, so it's no harm in looking into, you know, ap appearing in these examinations, definitely uh, the last date of filling up the form is 5th February, okay, so definitely exam is going to be, you know, let's say in March, Okay, it's going to be after gate and ESE worst case. So, you know, if, if your gate and ESE goes really very good, then no problem. Okay, but if you feel if that has gone average and looks dicey, so still you should have backup plans always. Okay, you should have backup plan always. Okay, now uh, noting, noticing some other important points. I hope I mentioned everything about this table. Yeah, okay, so... Coming back to some other important points. What are the important points I told I have highlighted so that we discuss only relevant things in this uh, video. Okay, so the age limit minimum of 18 years and maximum 30 years. So good one. Normally PSU uh, specify 27 or 28, but the age limit is 30. Of course, that is for general category, but there are relaxations for SCST, OBC as normally applicable. Okay, so you can look into it if you are into any other uh, any of these category as well. Okay, application fee. Of course, if you are a general or OBC non cumulative or EWS, 1000 plus GS. Okay, and if you are SCST, uh, PWD, ESM or any departmental candidates, no application fee is applicable here. Okay, now 
selection process. Very important, I told you in the beginning that it's going to be without gate score. Okay, so what is exactly is the selection process if you have a look into it? Okay, so they're going to be computer-based tests, of course, online. Most of the exams these days are uh, being online only. Now, this computer-based test will total carry 100 marks. Okay, 90 minutes. And 100 marks will have 100 questions. So, 100 questions, 90 minutes, very easy paper level. And almost for such PSUs, it's mostly very easy. Straightforward, uh, data-based, factual-based, yeah, straightforward if they are numerical, mostly formula-based. At least 80% of the paper will be very straightforward. Okay, so you have to target to cover both. Now, out of the 100 questions, as I mentioned, there will be 70 questions, MCQs. It is completely MCQ. 70 questions, that is technical, your branch-specific, and 30 questions, general. Okay, that general, not only it's aptitude, it includes GK as well. I mean, current affairs also will be there, general awareness, reasoning. Then, of course, reasoning, verbal, men mental ability, quantitative aptitude is there, but there will be a current affairs portion also that you have to prepare. Again, uh, this is 30 marks, 30 questions, 30 marks. Okay, so each question, one mark, and there is no negative mark also. Okay, so you can, you know, at the end blindly attempt all the questions also, but just I'm uh, telling you uh, roughly, but uh, majorly, jo aata hai, sabse pehle usko attempt karna hai. and in all such exams where you have less time and more questions, mostly question level is easy. Even if some questions are difficult, attempt at the end, first priority should be, okay, Solving the questions which are able to solve within few seconds. Okay, that should be there. The indicative syllabus also they have mentioned. So, I'll uh, take you towards the lecture A as well. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there is minimum cutoff marks also for, you know, uh, for you to be shortlisted for the next stage. So, there is the 100 marks paper out of which the cutoff is 50 marks minimum required in the written. Okay, including both sections. Okay, and 40 marks for uh, CST, A7, OBC, non layer and PDP, uh, PBWD. Okay, now, if you score equal or above the minimum qualifying marks that I've mentioned for you, okay, you'll be notified for appearing for scrutiny and verification of your testimonial supporting their claim of candidature in order of their marks scored in the CBD for the three different positions. Now, that clearly means they're not specifying any interview. It's written plus uh, it's more or less like document verification. Okay, your scrutiny will be there. Okay, so no uh, separate uh, interview has been uh, mentioned here. Okay, moving ahead to some other important updates. Yes, so important dates almost we saw. Okay, so the starting date of online registration. So notification was floated on 9th of January, but the application starts 15th of January, that is Monday. Okay, after two days, Monday from 10 a.m. Okay, and then the closing date is 5th of February, 11.59. That is the end of the day of 5th February. Okay, now uh, you can download the admit card uh, and there will be the test, computer-based test, result, everything will be on their website. Okay, uh, so whenever the updates are available, uh, we'll notify you. Okay, so yeah, now let me finally take you towards... Okay, the annexure, as I mentioned, question related to technical knowledge will be there. Okay, the section number 8, that is a technical section. Okay, technical technical section. So this is first of all they have mentioned for ENT. Okay, so have a look into it now. Okay, briefly, quickly, they can get network, digital, semiconductor, memories, microprocessor, eight zero eight five. Earlier gate me hota tha. So if you compare with current syllabus of gate, memories are still there. Eight zero eight five. You have to study separately. Okay, but you might have prepared for ISRO also. Okay, EDC, signal system, analog electronics, control system, analog communication, digital communication, electromagnetics, antennas ko separately likha hai, that's okay. Computer networking, voice communication. Okay, yaha pe aachengi, ya aapko thoda sa separately study karna hai. Okay, the computer networking, voice communication and microprocessor 8085. Rest it is gate syllabus, okay. So, uh, if you come to mechanical, uh, tom and machine design, then you have mechanics and strength of material, thermal engineering, Okay, uh, so it's complete thermodynamics mentioned here. Then uh, the cycles uh, for IC engine. Okay, uh, so fluid mechanics and machinery, fluid machinery is there. Okay, so it's more or less get some parts of ESE. Okay, so that's also a good advantage for mechanical also. Mostly the syllabus that they study. If you want to come to electrical, so principle of electricity, electromagnetism, materials is there. Okay, ESE mein apne padha hoga lag se. Gate mein directly you don't study materials. Generation of electricity, AC generator, DC generator, batteries, AC motors, DC motors, AC circuits. Okay, controlling and regulating gear. Okay, so this is all about uh, the switches, uh, cutout starters. Most of them you study, uh, you know, in your gate syllabus as well. Okay, transformation, transmission and distribution. I'm just going uh, giving you the overview. Okay, generation. Mostly you see core part is there in the electrical. Okay, a lot of uh, details they have mentioned. Okay, so we can have a separate discussion over it if required. 
Okay, so lot of everything about lines, cables, very detail may they have mentioned to electrical guys, you can go through this uh, detailed syllabus. And you know, this is a common video, so if required, we can talk about this electrical syllabus separately also. Okay, it consists mostly of the core electrical parts. Okay, and then uh, about the 30 marks, uh, it was already mentioned, the GK will be there, GA and the aptitude part is there. Okay, now see, they have mentioned some topics also like GK about India and international relations, general science, so current affairs I mentioned, general awareness about sport, defense books, prizes, Indian democracy etc reasoning verbal and mental the synonym and antonym okay they are only uh, and then grammar and relationship it's like verbal basic verbal ability jitna gate mein padte utna hi karna padega quantitative mein okay quantitative mein if i come yeah they have mentioned only this much okay work relationship profit loss speed etc okay so etc means anything can be there in con so prepare it's just like you have to prepare aptitude okay ji Okay guys, so that's uh, the update uh, about this examination to be conducted by NCL. Okay, and uh, if you find yourself interested for it, okay, you can fill up the form. Anyways, you're preparing for GATE or ESE, so you don't have to prepare separately. In case you are a GATE 23 aspirant, so you have to revise up. Maybe you appeared for ISRO also, so you may be in touch in concepts. You are also eligible to apply for this examination. Bye-bye. Thank you. Stay safe and take care.